Hello folks. Have you ever wondered why it is that a Colt style six shooter has six holes if it's only meant to be carried with five loaded? It's because it's not. They're designed to be carried fully loaded with six. And this is an old uh, reproduction. This is a Colt Dragoon. Holds six rounds. Uh, you see these little tiny knobs here in between the cylinders? I don't know if you've ever known much about black powder uh, cartridge guns. It's got loose powder, the ball, and a percussion cap here compared to a modern cartridge that's all self-contained, but they're the same thing. Uh, these little knobs here in between the cylinders, what they're meant for, the base of your hammer has this little notch in it. Some of them will have a hole in it instead of a notch. But with the way this works, it's back together here. You go ahead and you load it fully. Each one has a cap on it, each one has a charge in it. If you let or if you rest your hammer down on the percussion cap, if you hit the hammer or drop it, it's liable to go off and hurt you or worse. Uh, but if you cock it back halfway and you turn it, it'll drop onto that notch. Now you have six cylinders fully loaded. It's in between. It's not no cylinder is under the hammer or lined up with the barrel. Uh, that can't be moved. It's it's solid. When you cock it, it'll only turn halfway, so it goes to the the fully loaded shell. The next shot, it'll turn all the way and go to the next round, and so on. But if you only turn it halfway, lay it on that notch. It locks up, it can't be moved, it goes halfway. Now, a lot of them, like the Remingtons, they have these extra notches in here, and that's meant, it's got a differently designed hammer, it's more of a blade, it does the same thing. You put that into that notch right there. Okay, then this one, this is a real modern design. It's little uh, North American Arms 22 mag, but you see it has those same notches. You can load, this is only a five shot revolver, but you can load all five because you rest it onto, instead of on a live round, you rest it in between in that notch. Okay, on a Colt style gun, uh, this one's a little easier because it has a slide out pin. The other one, it's got what they call black powder frame. Uh, if it was only meant to be carried with five rounds, why have this one drilled out? Why make it able to be loaded with six? That should never have been milled. It should have been solid. And the reason why is because you can carry this safely with six rounds. You're, you've always heard that you can't, and it's not uh, not safe and all that, but there is a good way to do it. You see how that firing pin, I don't know how the good the lighting is in here. See how the firing pin projects through the casing here? Well, it's the same as the notches, the pin on this, in between the cylinder, in reverse. The way this works... Let's see, put your, put your cylinder back in. And get it to go here. Okay. Instead of, let's see, instead of dropping the hammer onto a live round where the firing pin is against that primer and it can be dropped or hit and gone off, you turn it halfway. Let's see. There we go. And it's locked up. The firing pin projects through in between the rims of those cases. If you look, there's. it's not lined up with the barrel. The hammer is not resting on the live round. And it's solid. It's locked up. 
it can be carried that way. This one is a little easier to hear it. It's got more, got a little more click to it. This one, like I say, it's got the black powder, so-called black powder frame to get the pin out. I got to take that screw out. But if you put this down, you hear that click? It's locked up. And I know I'm going to get a lot of bad comments probably on how stupid that is and everything but it's a common practice or used to be a common practice but it has been lost over time because of the safety of it um, it is definitely 100 percent for sure safer to carry your hammer on an empty cylinder absolutely there's no possible way that can go off but I've been doing this for years and that is it's solid it's not going anywhere it's safe as, as safe as on an empty cylinder uh, the only thing I would say a lot of the time I've been carrying a pistol is guiding hunters on it and pulling a pack string on a horse uh, I have had the lead rope on the horse snag on the hammer and while it's never cocked it, it is possible that it could. And that could happen even on an empty chamber. So it's not, that's not a safe deal. Uh, if you're horseback, especially if you've got a pack string, I would very much recommend a flap style holster similar to this one. Though there's no way a rope can hook your hammer and cause you any problems that's I mean it's it can't happen so anyway that's just my two cents worth and uh, like I say I'm sure a lot of people won't agree but it's the it's been lost to history that is the way it used to be done having six shots or having five shots and a six shot gun it really doesn't make any sense and you don't have to if you do it right it's just as safe so Anyway, don't shoot your foot off. Have a good day, and please think about subscribing. Thank you.